Hello everybody and welcome back to another thrift with me video. In this video we all went over to the Villages, Florida. We stopped into the Goodwill. We were on our way to Mount Dora and I was like hey actually no Aaron was like hey let's stop over there first. So we did. We got there right when they opened and I found a few things. I found this beautiful paperweight. It was $3.98. I love picking up the paperweights with the flowers or that have little scenes on the inside. And then Erin pointed out the Galileo thermometer. I have a small collection. It was $12.98, which isn't horrible. Um, you can still buy them on like Amazon and there are some vintage ones out there. So I ended up picking up both of the pieces that are in our hands. We have a snail sundial and a little cloisonne-esque teapot. The cashier told us that just the day before, someone bought about four or five of them, so that must have been the one lonely one that was probably separated from its tribe and it got put out after the fact, but I thought it was cool, so I ended up grabbing that one. I was so excited when I turned to the side and I saw these ceramic hands. Now they are marked NA, but at first I thought it was NF for an artist named Nancy Funk. I have sold her hands before. Her ceramic hands sell so well, upwards of one to $300 depending on the shape. She has all kinds. There's like wall sconces, there's toilet paper holders, paper towel holders, there's all kinds of stuff. Now I don't know who the NA artist is. I tried to look that up and it's pretty vague what it gives I it doesn't really look like a studio piece but it just might be um, but anyways they're really awesome and they have that Nancy Funk vibe so I was super excited to find them this piece is freaking awesome too doesn't this guy remind you of the bad guy from the Terminator that turns into like liquid metal I just thought <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks like that dude. It looks like the bad guy. But for like $4.98, it totally has an Art Deco vibe. That one for sure is the studio piece. It's marked 1980, but I thought it was freaking fantastic. So I just had to get that one as well. So we look up on these really high shelves that you wouldn't expect things to be on and I spotted the Portuguese rooster. It's sort of a unofficial mascot of Portugal. It's like a good luck rooster. So I had Aaron get him down for me. That was really high up. And then I didn't even get it on footage. I was like looking around the rest of the room that we were in uh, because they had more high shelves and there was a large swung vase just sitting at the top on a shelf I'm like oh my gosh I really I've never gone in there and like looked up for their glassware and stuff like like literally up like almost to the ceiling so I won't make that mistake again that's for sure <laughs>
Aaron knows that I've been looking for some really cool, like large terracotta uh, planters. I don't know how much these would go for, like if you went to a nursery or some place that sells the, you know, the cement and terracotta like lawn decorations. There's like quite a few of those places out there. Uh, but those were $20 a piece and that big one was 30. So I don't really know the price points on those other than you won't get that patina, that aged look, unless you like made it yourself and did it on purpose. Mm. So I don't know, I didn't end up getting them. I was considering the chair that Bianca was sitting in for my desk chair. It was only $7.98, but some of the uh, leather was torn, so left it. We were checking out their case. We were looking at these Ray Dunn mugs. The top of their glass is very scratchy. That's why it looks so blurry. Um, they were okay this time, but they didn't have a mug that um, I wanted to see. They're about $10 a piece. Aaron was pointing out that whale that was in there. So that whale ended up being 50% off. So we got the little glass whale. I'm sorry the bits of this are kind of cut out here and there. There, It was kind of busy. It got busier as we were there and people just kept like cutting in and out in front of me. So um, that bowl down there reminded me of this draped um, pitcher that I have, this antique pitcher. So I had to feel it. I had to touch it with my hands to see if it was the same cut glass that I had. So yeah. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for clicking on the video this evening. We really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and say my goodbyes now. There is a few more minutes left of footage in this video, so I hope you continue on and watch that. But I wanted to remind you guys that on Fridays and Sundays here on the channel at 1 p.m. Eastern, we host live sales. It's a lot of fun, so I hope you guys tune in for that. We also have an eBay. We have links in the description down below. And we also have Instagram. I am Chapter 2 Vintage Co. My husband is Mr. Chapter 2 Vintage Co. And we love having new friends over there. All right, guys, don't forget to leave your thumbs up and even a little heart or something down below. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.